Uh, well, my husband was looking for a business to purchase. Um, I was born and raised around uh, Kyle, or in Kyle, and came here as a child with my parents, and came here as a teenager. I worked here as a teenager. Um, came as a young adult with friends, and just decided it would be a good good thing to get into. Uh, when we took over in 1988, we were still using the dual uh, projector carbon arc system, where 20 minutes, 20 minute reel on one projector, and then you switch over to the other projector for another 20 minutes and back and forth for the duration of the movie. And then in 1999, we upgraded to the automated platter system. So that was another big change in that it uh, simplified things. Um, the reels of film were spliced together to one long film put on the platter and then once it fed through and ran, started it ran until it was finished. And then our third upgrade now is this digital uh, projector. Um, ingest a hard drive, you have your unlocking key uh, to open the movie and more or less just let it run. Press go and yeah and you're done. Because we had to finance this ourselves. I know other communities have uh, relied on public donations to finance it. We elected to just finance it ourselves and to keep the cost down as much as we could, although the total conversion cost was still in excess of $100,000, including the screen, redoing the screen, um, the cost of the projector and the equipment and also upgrading the projection room in that it had, has to be insulated, heated. Uh, during the off season, the projector can't freeze um, and keeping it dust proof, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So that was several thousand dollars to, to renovate the back room. We always see new people all the time um, that have never been to drive-ins. This year in particular, we have a lot of people mention that they were coming up for the first time because they heard we were digital and wanted to see. Uh, but right now, as it stands this year, there isn't a tremendous amount of, of uh, new, new volume because of it. Well, this drive-in was uh, put here for uh, the enjoyment of Clearwater Lake, hence the name uh, Clearwater Lake Drive-In. Um, and really, it's the summer uh, tourism that's the core of, of our audience. Uh, cabin owners that are here for the summer or a couple of weeks, although in addition to our local support um, and areas such as Elrose, Eston, um, Cabri, even Gull Lake, uh, Saskatoon, we're, we're drawing a regular audience now from, for example, Swift Current area. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, we're really getting a lot of support. Uh, from from communities such as that. Friends, of course, are the busiest because that's when everybody's out and about with families. Uh, so we tend to uh, book the uh, more family-oriented uh, films. Um, Midweeks are more or less reserved for the more uh, mature or uh, R-rated right. uh, movies. Hi there. That's okay. Just two adults. <laughs> Yeah. Two adults is all you have? Yeah. Okay. I don't know, because the other side is better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I can't figure out why. Yeah, no, that's that's where I would be parking is over on the other side. It's a lot quieter and you're away from the headlights when people are coming in late. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thanks. Okay. Hi there. Three adults. Three adults is 27, please. Perfect. Thank you. We're, we're seeing a lot older, more older people coming back to the driving that haven't been, um, you know, in quite a few years. So that's nice to see. Um, a lot of the times it, in July, it's a matter of how late can you stay up at night kind of thing, you know, as you get older. But um, yeah, it, it's nice to see them come out for a change. Hi there. Ooh. We've got two adults and a 12 year old. Okay, 23 
Thank you very much. Mr. Kabuki was using ESP to attack you and Balloon Man. 